Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. Oh, yes. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. Here we are in intermediate class, number 46. So you can turn there to your pay, to in, in your student guide. You can skip ahead there to class 46 and follow along. But we're going to start with a little review, as it says at the top, point one, review of class 45. So yesterday we were looking at the verb to eat. To eat. Every day I eat. Today I eat. Yesterday I ate. Eat, ate. So, um, yes, did you eat a piece of pie yesterday? Yes, I ate a piece of pie yesterday. I ate a piece of pie. Did you eat a hamburger yesterday? Yes, I ate a hamburger yesterday. Did you eat a sandwich yesterday? Yes, I ate a sandwich yesterday. Yes, I ate a sandwich yesterday. Did you eat a fabada yesterday? Ask me. Ask me if I ate a fabada yesterday. Kyle, did you eat a fabada yesterday? Yes, I did. I ate a whole fabada. It was amazing. It was delicious. And I ate the whole thing. It was for two people, but I ate the whole thing because I was really hungry. I was very, very hungry. And I ate. I ate the whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, did you eat at school when you were young? Did you eat at school when you were young? Yes, I ate at school when I was young. Ask me if, uh, ask me if I ate at home when I was young, when I was in school. Ask me if I ate at home when I was in school. Kyle, did you eat at home when you were in school? Yes, I ate at home when I was in school. When I was young, yes. Then in high school, I started eating at school. Well, if I, if I had time, I often went home for lunch. But it depended on the day, and it depended on my mood. Okay. Well, speaking of the verb to eat, what's important here is the, the pronunciation. Eat, ate. Every day I eat, yesterday I ate. Um, Nacho, do you, like, do you like jokes? Yes, I do. do you, Nacho likes jokes. At home, do you like jokes? Yes, you like jokes. Do you, do you want to hear a good one? Yes. Now, when I when I say a good one, I mean, and this is an English teacher's joke, you know. So, you have to, you know, consider it. You know, you, have, you have to be prepared that it's going to be an, a grammatical joke, you know, which of course are the best kind of jokes, right? English teacher jokes. Okay. So, uh, Nacho, why why is six afraid of seven? Porque las seis tiene miedo del siete. Why is six afraid of seven? Do you, know, do, you know, do you know this one? I think I know it. Uh, <laughs> I know it. Because Nacho is surrounded by English teachers all day. So he, he hears these jokes. What's, what's the answer? Because seven, eight, nine. Yes, <laughs> because seven, eight, nine. Can I get a drum roll? Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, Great joke, isn't it? Because why is six afraid of seven? Oh, because seven, eight, nine. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. I'm, I think I'm going to quit teaching and become a stand-up comedian. With jokes like that, I, 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 I couldn't lose, right? It would be fantastic. All right. Now, we can do a little review. Yesterday, we started, well, in the last class, we started with um, our, our translation lists. So there will be translation lists in all, well, every second class from now on, desde ahora, from now on. We will be doing translation lists regularly. And um, here we are with the first translation list. And uh, let's, let's run through it. Let's practice the, the list, okay? Translation. Number one. Eres demasiado pesimista. At home? Eres demasiado pesimista. You're too pessimistic. You're too pessimistic. 
¿Tienes suficiente dinero? Do you have enough money? Do you have enough money? Very good. Muéstramelo. Show it to me. Show it to me. Muéstramelo. Show it to me. Very good. Number four. ¿Dónde estabas cuando ocurrió? Where were you when it happened? Where were you when it happened? Hmm. Son casi tan altos como yo. They're almost as tall as I am. Very good. So at home, they're almost as tall as I am. Son casi tan altos como yo. Number five, ¿sabes escribir una carta comercial? Do you know how to write a business letter? Good. Now, to know how to. Do you know how to? Do you know how to fly an airplane? No, I don't know how to fly an airplane. Do you know how to cook a Spanish omelet? Yes, I know how to cook a Spanish omelet. Do you know how to write a business letter? Yes, I know how to write a business letter. How, como los indios. How, how, okay? Good. All right. Me canso fácilmente. I get tired easily. It's true. I get tired. Tired. Not tired, but tired. Tired como pneumatico. Tired. Tired. I get tired easily. Traemelo. Traemelo. Bring it to me. Did I, did I say that right, Nacho? Traemelo. 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 That's better. He, he pronounces it much better than I do. Bring it to me in English. Bring it to me. Ladies and gentlemen, bring it to me. Please, bring it to me. Esto es mucho mejor. This is much better. This is much better. Hay muchos errores pequeños. There are a lot of small mistakes. There are a lot of small mistakes. Yes. Hazlo así. Hazlo así. Do it like this. Do it like this. Así. Do it like this. And number 12. Last but not least. Siempre te llevan en coche. Disculpame, excuse me. Siempre le llevan en coche. They always take him by car. Always. They always take him by car. Very good. All right. Word of the day. All right, it is now time for our word of the day. Yes, our word of the day today is... En español, digamos, gama. Surtido. And in English, we say array, A-R-R-A-Y. We also have the word range. We have a wide range of products, una amplia gama, a wide range of products. But the word array is very similar. A great array of colors. A rainbow possesses a great array of colors, A-R-R-A-Y. Array, a great array of colors, okay? El Corte Inglés carries a great array of products. They have a wide range of products, and they have an incredible array of products, okay? Very good. Do you know anyone who has four ears? No, I don't know anyone who has four ears. So the question, anyone, in the question, we use any. Do you know anyone who has four ears? No, I don't know anyone who has four ears. Do you know anyone who lives in an igloo? No, I don't know anyone who lives in an igloo. Do you know anyone who drives a Rolls Royce? Ro re repeat with me, Rolls Royce. Not Rolls Royce, but Rolls Royce. No, I don't know anyone who drives a Rolls Royce. Do you know anyone who owns a restaurant? Yes, I know someone who owns a restaurant. Or, no, I don't know anyone who owns a restaurant. So, en voz alta, siempre en voz alta conmigo, okay. 
Do you know anyone who sleeps 12 hours a day? 12 hours? Oof, ojalá. No, I don't know anyone who sleeps 12 hours a day. Do you know anyone who works for a circus? No, I don't know anyone who works for a circus. Do you know anyone who goes to work on a unicycle? Unicycle. It's like a bicycle, but with one wheel. Una, meaning singular. Unicycle, one wheel. Bicycle, two wheels. Tricycle, three wheels. Do you know anyone who goes to work on a unicycle? No. I don't know anyone who goes to work on a unicycle. Do you know anyone who speaks 12 languages? No. I don't know anyone who speaks 12 languages. Do you know anyone who speaks Icelandic? Icelandic. The language spoken in Iceland. Do you know anyone who speaks Icelandic? No. I don't know anyone who speaks Icelandic. Mm. Do you know do you know anyone who works 18 hours a day? No, I don't know anyone who works 18 hours a day. No. So I don't know anyone because no se puede decir I don't know no one porque es, eso es doble negativo. We cannot have a double negative in English. Therefore we must say I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone. I don't know any way to fix it. I don't know anyone who can fix it. I don't have any tools to fix it. Okay? Any, any, any. So in the negative, we have to use any. We can't use the double negative. Okay? Do you know anyone who has three mouths? Tres bocas. No. No, I don't know anyone who has three mouths. Do you know anyone who has four arms? No, I don't know anyone who has four arms. Do you know anyone who doesn't have a mobile phone? Yes, I know someone who doesn't have a mobile phone. My parents don't have a mobile phone. In Canada, they don't have... A lot of people... I know a lot of people in Canada who don't have a mobile phone. My parents don't have a mobile phone. No. My mother doesn't have a mobile phone, and my father doesn't have a mobile phone. Most of my friends in Canada have mobile phones, but not all of them. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it's time now for our vocabulary of the day. Yes, our five words of vocabulary. Servicial is the first word today. Servicial. I hope that I am being helpful. Helpful. That's the word. Servicial. Helpful. Helpful. Very good. Ponerse nervioso. To get nervous. Now, not nervous, but nervous. Nervous. Pay attention. Pronunciation. What? Yes, I want to pay attention. I want to focus on the pronunciation here. The pronunciation of the word nervous. Nervous. Because it's not nervous, but nervous. It's almost like an E. N-E-R-V-E-S. Nervous. Or almost like an A. Ah, nervous. N nervous. Not nervous. No, no, not nervous, but nervous. Nervous. Repeat. Nervous. 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 Very good. Rodear. To surround. To surround. To surround. SOS. Reconocer. To recognize. The verb to recognize. Mm. I recognize whenever I see, uh, well, sometimes I see friends or people. People on the bus, for example. And sometimes I recognize people that I see on the bus. Mm. Gritar. Gritar. The verb to shout. Shout. Ah! Shout. Gritar. Gritar. 
The verb to shout. There we go. To shout. All right. Okay, yes. Now, the other day. We can practice a structure here. The other day. The other week. The other day I had a great fabada. Did you have a great fabada the other day? Did you eat a great fabada the other day? Yes, I ate a great fabada the other day. Did you drive a sports car the other week? Yes, I drove a sports car the other week. Uh, the other day, Alberto, Claire uh, from Vaughn Television and Alvaro from Vaughn Television, they flew in a plane just the other day. The other day. The other day, they flew in a plane. The other day, I went to the gym to get some exercise the other day. The other day, I visited my friend. Hmm. The other day. Yes. Did you hear my show, The Verb Circus, the other day? Did you hear it the other day? Did you, did you hear the show? Oh, good. Well, thank you. Mondays and Fridays, yes. Did you hear it the other day? Okay. Did you get paid the other week? The other, I didn't get paid last week, but I got paid the other week. Yeah, the other week. Mm -hmm. Did you go to a nice restaurant the other week? Yes, I went to a nice restaurant the other week. I saw David teaching a class on television the other day. I saw him the other day. I can't remember what day it was. I'm not being specific here. Yeah, the other day. El otro día. The other day I saw David on TV. And I could, when I see David, I say, Hey, David, I saw you on TV the other day. Did we discuss this topic the other day? It seems familiar. Did we discuss it the other day? No, we didn't discuss it the other day. Hmm. Did you hear the advanced level show the other day? Yes, I heard the advanced level show the other day. Speaking of the advanced level show, it's time to go to a break. We're going to go to a break, and we will be back in about four or five minutes with the advanced show. So please keep listening, and I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, with more for you intermediate students. I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>